Hello and welcome back to a new Pizza the Ray tutorial. Today we will create a rainy window. Okay, here we are in a not so fresh blender scene today because I want to uh, make this one as short as possible. So um, I, yeah, I imported import uh, a little, yeah, tiny <laughs> tiny neon sign here inside but uh yeah um put this one here in the back and let's create a plane which will be our window so let's uh, adjust our camera now um let's zero this one out and yeah put this one here into a little into the back and now we can scale up here this uh, this plane um, which will fit our um, canvas here now and <clears throat> maybe we can add a, a little cube for some some structure here so let's scale this one a little bit smaller here and something like this okay uh, maybe something like this and now well, let's go back into the camera view and put this one here to the side maybe make this one a little bit smaller and let's add an array modifier and now we can maybe put the count up to four so that we have uh, here for uh, for that we have here some structure now. Okay, let's duplicate this one and uh, we can rotate this here to 90 degrees and scale this one really small and then we can uh, yeah, adjust this one here so we have a little more structure here inside so um, maybe let's delete here this one this light here and um, yeah now we can go uh, to the render settings here and we have to enable ambient inclusion and bloom so our neon stuff will uh yeah, glow here in this scene and now we have to go to screen space reflections and yeah the first important thing is that we have to uh, check here the refraction um uncheck the half rest trace and let's put up the trace position and the maximum roughness up and the edge fading down so that's that's all for here and yeah let's um yeah let's uh, create our glass material here now so um first of all let's rename this to glass and then we have to go to the options here of uh, our principal BSDF shader and hit into options. And then we have to enable the screen space refraction. And now when we are go increase here the transmission, you can see that our um, neon sign is shining through our window but um, we need some rain <laughs> and the easiest way is um, to go to textures.com and search for rain and as you can see here we have some cool animated raindrops here and um, you can get here the I used the height map um, for free um, but for myself, I bought this uh, image sequence and 
that's uh, 100, 100, what is it, 100 credits for this image sequence, but yeah, as you, you can uh, use here this uh, 512 by 512, um, it's not really high res, but um, yeah, it's up to you, so um, okay, so um, let's search here for image texture. Uh, yeah, uh, here's our texture now. Let's get rid of this one here. And when you're using the Node Wrangler setup, you can select this one and press Ctrl T so you get a texture setup. And now let's uh, put this one here into the roughness channel. And as you can see, nothing happens here right now. So we have to add a color ramp and now when we will we'll put this white slider here close to the black one um, you can see that here are some um, yeah some uh, rainy drops but I think um, to see a little bit more of the scene, let's uh, hit really quick into the world setup and let's search for environment texture. Put this one here into the color channel. Okay, cool. And maybe uh, let's rotate this one. Here's a little the setup here. And now let's rotate this here. Maybe do something like this here. This is cool. And yeah, maybe let's change the colors here really quick. So let's add a new and change this one to something more pinkish here right now. Um, yeah, maybe. So, so we have something like this. Okay, so let's head back to the object and let's uh, increase the scale by maybe something four by four. And now we have some cool raindrops here. And yeah, <laughs> and now uh, um, we can do a little trick here which i uh, used for my setup um, i like to add here a um, bump and put this one here into the height map and then put this one into the normal map and as you can see we have some really hard bumping here right now but if you are decreasing the strength you get this uh, you will get this um, little tiny um, tiny highlights on your on your raindrops and I think um, that's that is really cool um, but it's up to you you can uh, yeah you can use this uh, bump thing or not <laughs> and here's another thing um, as you can see here, here are some, when we are panning around with the camera here, we get these tiny, um, we get these tiny gaps here in the neon sign. And we can get rid of this um, by adjusting the IOR. And we are decreasing here the IOR. Um, you can see that the gaps are aligning with these uh, yeah with with our structure and yeah that's that's it i think um we can add here a new material which is maybe uh, gloss and um, make this black and turn the roughness a little bit down so we have some reflections here and uh, maybe something here and yeah now 
duplicate this one here and put this one to the back. So, and again, well, so, and that is how you can create easy some uh, rainy windows. Yeah. Uh, I hope you find this one useful and if you want to know how you can create a more detailed neon sign, check out the next video. See you next time and bye bye.